Good morning. Guys, we're back. We got some help in the form of a Lucas. Aha. You should see Lucas' reaction uh, when he looked at the frame. He was like, hmm. Decent. Decent? Shh. Decent. Okay, so today's plan is to rough it up a little bit more because I don't like this dirt that's still on here. You can tell by my, you know, on my fingers, the dirt, the dirt. So preparation is key. Decided not to chassis saver the whole thing, just the black stuff, which means, well, most of it really. The frame, the, everything that's black, basically. Lower control arms, all the suspension components, the, the subframe, the frame, mainframe and all all this, right? Like maybe even the sway bar. This this guy. I actually have the stuff I can show you finally. So this is it. This is the chassis saver. If the surface is painted, then it needs to be sanded down a little bit, scruffed, you know, scuffed, 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 scuffed up a little bit with 50, 60 grit, just so it has something to stick on. And then on the inside and outside underneath the floor, we're gonna use this. This is by Amzoil, that's the wax stuff I mentioned yesterday. And that, that's the, this is the last step. So we got some cups, we got gloves, we have this, these... We got paper, we're gonna actually, when we're done scuffing it up with these guys, this is 80 grid, close enough. This will get us into the hard to get angled places. You don't mix the chassis or don't shake the chassis saver, you mix it, stir it. And this is what I'm talking about. These are the wands. Hopefully, I can attach it somehow to the can, spray can, and spray inside, inside the, the frame and the floor and all that stuff. And this is just a degreaser. And we got some brushes. All right, guys, we're gonna scuff it up, clean it, then we're gonna go through the frame again. And we're still gonna blow air inside the frame, just check, make sure there's no water inside. And lay the first coat on. Okay, guys, we are ready to paint. Look, it's degreasing the fuel tank cover. Well, the frame looks pretty much the same. It's just squeaky clean. Well... So clean you can eat off of it. Including the... Ah, the axle here, the back plates, everything. The drive shaft, the floor, scuffed up and cleaned. Okay, I'm gonna get ready to paint. Basically, what I'm gonna do, open up the can, steer it slowly, as the instructions say, and start painting. All right, guys, we had a slight situation. Our cups melted. Okay, so don't use those. Luckily for us, there's a Home Depot next door literally walking distance hopefully these will hold up and uh yeah let's see did you read the instruction uh yes i did let me see look is taking a break uh didn't get far this is what it looks like it goes on thick make sure you don't go thick just dip the brush in the paint a little bit and spread it out thick coats will bubble up now from my understanding uh, this paint dries to humidity it mixes humidity dries it up so if it's a humid day it's gonna dry up quick which is which is a no-no you want it to be a regular humid day i guess if you're in Florida, we're gonna wait till winter time, I guess. Okay, we're gonna continue. This is gonna be a while. 
especially if we get it too cold. <laughs> I don't know. All right, guys, we got an update. Hey, how long has it been? No idea. Three hours? Two hours? You tell me. I'm thinking maybe, maybe two and a half hours. It took us two and a half hours to paint this. Let me show you. Check it out. It's uh, it's shiny because it's still wet. Takes a few hours, but I did paint. Remember, we had that uh, vegetation, a lot of it, just behind this this fender plastic here. So I painted that too, just as far as I could, and right up there. This is this was the. Oh, still have. We're gonna have to do some touch up. A little more touch up there. Check this out. I know, you know, the threads on the bolts and whatnot, brake lines, whatever. I mean, if you want to keep it clean, then it's going to take you a week to, with a little paintbrush, to do a nice job. Just, you know, collateral damage, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'd rather have it painted than rusted. Than, than rusted. And I also painted this inside here all the way, all around because dirt collects on the inside there and you can see if it's not scuffed you can see how the paint does not stick what the hell's wrong with the camera okay I, I don't know why it's flickering but anyways you can see the white lines that paint was not scuffed and it's not sticking to it but this doesn't matter I wanted to just paint it on the inside there let's take a look underneath it is nice Okay, and it's shiny like I said because it's still drying and you can see I mean over brushing everywhere Exhaust whatever I think the best part is the Front portion of a differential which is oh, yeah. dusted, so that's why you don't see all those Yeah, check this out strokes. No, it's it's uh yeah, because it's, it's, a it's cast. Yeah, it's it's cast iron. Yeah, that's why everything else is smooth drive shaft Now, obviously there are spots we didn't, couldn't get to, like for example, up there a little bit. Is this light dying? I think this light is dying. Anyways, we're gonna come back. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go eat. Give it an hour or two, dry up. Also painted this on one side only and then just go over decided to do one one coat because since i'm going to be spraying the, the wax thing you know and it wasn't rusty one yeah, coat should, should be, be yeah. yeah it wasn't rusty you one coat should be sufficient so we're going to let it dry relax a little bit breathe fresh air we should, we should be wearing masks uh try not to get this stuff on your skin if you do wash it or use paper towel whatever wash it off right away uh degreaser works well on, it, it does on, on skin <laughs> anyways like i said for the third time we're gonna let it dry and then we can kind of get in up you know into the nooks and crannies up in there everywhere do a little touch up so we don't get dirty <sighs> and then we're gonna let it dry what time is it anyways no idea. I don't know, it looks like 4 o'clock p.m. or something like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back after the touch-up. It's 5. It's 5, okay. We'll see. Alright guys, see you later. We're gonna start spraying, but we're not gonna spray the frame just yet because it's still wet. I'm gonna wait... I don't know, maybe... 2 days or so for it to fully dry. Decided not to spray the inside of the frame yet because it might drip down and we don't know the reaction of the two when they're wet. Uh, so that's gonna have to wait inside of the frame and stuff. But why is this not going in? But we can spray this on the uh, paint, the floor, the paint. And we're gonna start with the pinch welds here. Oh, hold on, I got you. 
Sorry. Too close? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for some gloves on. With the struggles. Oh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> what? Seriously? That's not even staying in. What the hell, Emsoil? Oh man. Okay. So this, so this is not gonna work then. Why? The ones. Because I the I need the straw to stay in there. To hook it up to the one? Yeah. To hook up the one. Okay, I did spray a little bit on with black paint. Do you? Well, it's not catching fire. So I'm just gonna spray inside the pinch weld there. Just kinda yeah, you People don't, don't don't see you. They just see yeah. I know. I'm gonna explain. So there are hope. What? Well, the truck. Maybe I need a uh, brake fluid one, right? The brake fluid. So basically, there are drain or drain hole. I got a different straw. I'm basically looking for the drain holes in the pinch weld. Cause you know water gotta it's gotta come down. And just spray it away. Every hole I find, even where the clips go. Can you can they see? It's kind of dark. No, you can see, but I'm too far from you, so. Okay. This has a kind of a weird smell. Do it. It's like what? Like a little mess, huh? Oh, you. Just a little bit, because that's the where the water will sit sometimes. You know? It smells like WD-40. Sort of. Now I'm just going to spray the floor, basically. Just everywhere. Avoiding the... Black paint for now. Yeah. It comes on as a little, like a thin mist, right? Yeah. Uh, watch your eyes. Yeah, it's very similar to WD-40. Yeah, but WD-40 is, uh, is thinner. Okay, I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Should probably go inside the pinch well holes. We're gonna do the same over there. Spray each way. And we, we got nine cans of this. Come on, get in there. This kind of sucks. Ah. Alright, guys, we're gonna continue making a mess. And we'll be back shortly. All right, guys, my wand does not work. Not enough pressure for this to give us the mist that we're looking for, which is a bummer. These guys, I guess for the purpose, for my purpose, they are like 40, 50 bucks on Amazon. This came with my gun with fluid film that I bought a few years back. You can see the attachment to the uh, the, you know, the air pressure gun. Ah, anyways, and just using the straw does not give me the 360 degrees of mist which we're looking for to spray the inside of everything, basically. So, we're gonna have to wait on this. What's the plan? Go home. Go home. Alright, I'm gonna leave this here for a few hours till it's like late, late, come back get it home, let it dry for, I think this needs 72 hours to fully cure the chassis saber. Uh, this Amsoil M stuff. Two hours? Two hours, that's what it said? I think two hours. Yeah, not two, whatever. Even if it's five hours, that's you know, much shorter time than the 72. Meanwhile, during those 72 hours, I'm gonna shop for something else, for the mist that we need. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in a, in a few days. It's going to be a, a split second for you again, and for me it's going to be a few days. See you later.